Fighting scenes are notoriously difficult for AI video generators, but I gotta say, this scene looks pretty damn good. I put Runway Gen 4 and Kling 1.6 through a series of tests, and the one that made this particular clip was Here's the thing, normally when it comes to super high quality AI video generations, Kling AI is my go-to tool. So the thing in question here is if Runway can produce the same level of quality and the same level of prompt adherence as Kling AI, then Runway would claim the top position as the ultimate video gen tool, considering the fact that it has an unlimited plan. So let's jump into the first test. Now I'm gonna start off a little bit spicy here because one of the main use cases for these tools is generating AI influencers. And one of the main issues with Runway in the past was its overly censored restrictions. So Kira, go ahead and take it from here. Sure, Scotty. So right now we're looking at Kling 1.6. And as you can tell, this is Sierra and I providing a strictly professional car washing service. Kling AI did a really good job with this clip. And so now coming into Runway, I'm gonna use the exact same image and the exact same prompt and let's see what we can get from Runway. Again, the main advantage here is that Runway offers an unlimited plan, so I can generate these 10 second clips, whereas doing this in Kling would be extremely expensive. Okay, so after waiting a little bit, we can see that Runway did reject this input, but what's actually cool here is that it's specifically telling me that the prompt, the text prompt, is causing the issue. So now I know that maybe it's not the image causing the issue, maybe it's just the text prompt. And so what I did is I tried to modify the prompt a little bit, but it still got rejected. And so in the end, I just made the prompt super basic and that did actually go through. The problem though, is that the output was not exactly usable. But again, the really cool thing is that having an unlimited plan means I can just continue to tweak the prompt and test things out until I ultimately get what I want. And being that it wasn't the image causing the issue, it was only the prompt, I would say that Runway is definitely usable for these AI influencer type use cases. Other clips like this came out extremely good. The physics are super realistic and this is certainly usable on social media. So here's another really cool saying that I got from Kling AI, where it's kind of just this POV, you know, battle drone flying through this scene. Let's see what Runway can do with this. So I'll bring in my image here and use the same exact prompt here. Now, notice I'm actually exceeding the characters for Runway. So what I'm actually gonna do in this case is come into the Creator Secrets community right here, click on the classroom. I'm gonna open up the Start Here module, come down to Tools and Resources, and click this Video Prompt Magic. From here, I'm gonna come to this link, Video Prompt Magic version two, the Runway version, click that link. And what this is going to do is craft a perfect Runway prompt based on that image. Again, you can find this in the Creator Secrets community on school. The link is down below. So all I have to do here is drag in the image and send that. In this case, we're gonna use the motion tracking follow. And now it's asking me what type of action needs to take place with this image. So I'm gonna say it's a POV shot following the drone through a battle scene, explosions and guns are firing toward the drone. Let's see what we get with that. Okay, so now what it's done is crafted a perfect prompt built specifically on Runway's guidelines. And so here, I'm just gonna go ahead and replace this prompt with the new one that we have here. And so after waiting for that, here's what we ended up with right here. And I have to say this did come out pretty good. The physics look good, the machine guns, there's debris and all kinds of stuff going on. There's a little bit of, you know, strange physics with this drone up here. My biggest complaint would be the lightning behind the pyramid is static, but overall this is really good. Let's check out the second one here. This one's more of a slow motion scene, which could actually be pretty cool. And of course I could speed this up post edit if I wanted to. Now, before Gen 4 came out, I actually tried to make this clip using Gen 3 and it came out absolutely terrible. It was completely useless. And I would say this compared to Gen 3 is about a hundred times better. In fact, I think I actually even like this one a little better than Kling. 
Here's another clip that I created in Kling AI, and this is the type of thing that Runway Gen 3 would never be able to pull off, specifically the fingers using a violin. Video Gen tools have an extremely tough time specifically with the violin. Kling is the only one that's been able to get it decently right. So let's see how Runway Gen 4 handles this. I'll bring in our image here, paste in the prompt there, and let's see what happens. So the first one here I would say is kind of the standard crazy twitch fingers that I'm used to seeing when it comes to trying to create these violin uh, type settings or scenes. Moving on to the second one though, this actually came out really good. It looks pretty realistic, maybe not quite as good as Kling, but it's pretty close. Coming down to the third one, this one also came out decent. I mean, there's certainly things that I could mine out of this clip, but we are seeing uh, the fingers starting to glitch out and twitch out uh, towards the end there. The last one here, I would say this one actually came out the best. It looks super realistic. There are a few moments of crazy twitch fingers, but again, being that I can just create a bunch of 10 second clips without worrying about running out of credits, I can just create plenty of this stuff and then pull out, you know, the sections and the clips that I want to use. Overall, I would say this is certainly usable. Coming back into Kling right here, even Kling had a really hard time with this one where I was just trying to get myself to do a belly flop into this pool and ended up with some very interesting outputs to say the least. In the end, I was able to get something that was semi-usable as long as I cut out the ending. So coming back into Runway, let's see how it handles this one. I did eight attempts here and the first two attempts were blocked from censorship so I modified the prompt a little bit and these actually got through but as we can see here Runway is also having a really hard time with this clip and it was never quite able to pull it off. I think the very last one here probably came the closest but still not quite usable. So in the end, I'd have to say Kling is the winner on this one. Now for the next test here, I wanted to try and replicate a viral video on Instagram. So I came across this video right here where there's basically just this giant goblin, I'm not sure what you want to call it, who kind of walks up behind this elf girl. So what I'm going to do here is grab a screenshot of this clip. Which, by the way, this is a tool called VidBuzz.io, which shows all of the most viral AI videos on Instagram and TikTok. I have a full demonstration of this tool if you want to check it out. Link will be down below. Anyway, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the screenshot that I got from this video. I'm going to pop open this little window here, paste the screenshot there, and upload it to my media library. From here, I'll click this little button to open the prompt generation tool, and I'll click Load from Media Library. And we can see here's the screenshot right here. I'm going to select that and click build prompt. So now it's going to craft a prompt for me based on that screenshot. And before I actually generate the image, I just want to see if the general idea is right. So I'm going to generate the concept image here. And so now it's generated the concept image. I'm going to say turn the man into a giant orc. And I'll have it rewrite the prompt based on that. Generate a new concept. And now here's our new concept image. And so I think that might be close enough. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this prompt. I'll bring it into the image tool of my choice. In this case, I'm using Flux and let's see what we get. So I ended up getting a lot of really good images here. I took my favorite image and then from there, I brought that into Kling AI and I ran it through Kling a bunch of times. They all came out pretty good, but I think in the end, I like this one the best. It just looks super realistic the way that the characters are sort of interacting with each other. And overall, it just came out really good. Now coming over to Runway, the first couple of attempts got censored. And then I started modifying the prompt a little bit. And these came out pretty good, not too bad. I think this one right here might have ended up being the best one. None of them were terrible. However, most of them just didn't quite stack up to the versions from Kling. But overall, compared to Runway Gen 3, again, these are a hundred times better. Which, by the way, if you have more nuanced questions about any of this stuff, Scotty offers live Q&A calls in the Creator Secrets community on school. He shows everything from creating AI influencers like myself to content automation and professional monetization so you can maximize your earnings. He also covers the best AI niche categories and the best tools to create anything you can imagine. 
along with all the prompt resources and workloads for professional AI filmmaking. The link for this will be down in the description below. So now moving on to our final test, I took this image with Runway versus Kling as these fighters. And first I ran it through Kling AI. And so here's what we ended up with here. It looks pretty good, but we are seeing that sort of typical slow motion movement that uh, is really common with Kling. And we are seeing a bit of distortion and morphing with the hands. Let's take a look at the next one here. And again, I have to say this one still looks pretty good, but again, a little bit of distortion and morphing with the hands. I mean, compared to how these fighting scenes used to look with some of the earlier video generators, this is really, really impressive. But now jumping into Runway, here's what we have here. And I gotta say, this looks really, really good. We are seeing a little bit of AI wonk uh, towards the end of this clip, but overall the physics look really good for the most part. And I like how it's creating this action scene in real time. It's not, you know, that super slow motion look that we see from Kling. Again, we are seeing a little bit of that AI wonk towards the end of this clip. And now moving on to clip number three, I think this one actually ended up coming out the best. And this is the actual clip that I used on the intro of this video. So it was in fact Runway that generated this clip. And finally, moving on to clip number four, this one is still really good, but they are moving a little bit slow. Maybe this is the 10th round or something like that because they're looking a little bit tired here. So here's the final verdict. When it comes to censorship, we're gonna give Kling AI four stars out of five because it's fairly rare that I run into censorship issues with Kling AI. When it comes to Runway, we'll go ahead and give it three stars because although I did run into some censorship issues, all of the content was still usable with a few modifications to the prompt. When it comes to speed, Kling used to be really slow, but lately they've really been working on speed and now it's actually quite fast. We'll give it four stars. With Runway Gen 4, it did take quite a long time, but I'm sure their servers are overloaded with all of the users right now, so we can't really fault them too much for that. Moving on to prompt adherence, Kling AI, in my opinion, is one of the best tools when it comes to prompt adherence. We'll give it four stars, but now with Runway Gen 4, it seemed to be pretty similar. We'll give Runway four stars here as well. Now moving on to quality, Kling, in my opinion, still is the single best tool when it comes to high quality outputs. We'll give it five stars. And although Runway Gen 4 is a hundred times better than Gen 3, it still doesn't quite match the quality of Kling AI, but it is pretty dang close, so we'll give it four stars. And finally, coming down to volume, when it comes to Kling, this is one of the worst areas with Kling AI because even on their most expensive plan, you'll generally still run out of credits if you're creating a lot of content. And since Runway offers an unlimited plan, we're gonna go ahead and give Runway five stars. So here's the thing, with Runway Gen 3, it was not even close to Kling. In fact, for most of my use cases, the outputs from Gen 3 were not even usable. However, with Gen 4, just about every single thing that I created was actually something that I could use either on social media or my real projects. Then add in the fact that I have an unlimited plan and I don't ever have to worry about running out of credits. If I could only choose between Kling or Runway, I think I'd have to choose Runway. This new Gen 4 update makes Runway an absolute beast in my opinion. So that's it for this one. Again, be sure to check out the Creator Secrets community on School if you want to learn all of the best systems, workflows, and monetization strategies. That's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.